Did uh, determinism hold true on this planet until humans obtained their volitional capacity, say, five million years ago? First of all, there is a question of whether animals have some form of uh, free will. It's a debatable question, but animals give some evidence on a primitive form of making choices. If you've seen a dog look this way and look this way and can't decide whether to go after this person or after this person or hesitate and then suddenly uh, leap, there's a small evidence of a choice uh, being made. It's not conclusive, but it's not like just hitting a billiard ball either. Something is going on there, some kind of decision. But let's say it's, it's only uh, human beings, and let's say there was five uh, million or whatever number of million years where there was, in fact, no choice going on. That would not be determinism. It would be causality, simply cause and effect. Determinism is a specific doctrine created to deny free will. No, nobody started philosophy by saying, you know, we have no choice. They started philosophy by saying we have choice. And it was only the post-Aristotelian period where they uh, uh, got the idea of determinism. And some of the earlier philosophies implied it. But even the, the materialists, the atomists, thought that, the, like uh, Epicurus, thought that the atoms had uh, swerved and that was uh, free choice. So no, the doctrine would simply not apply.